Okay, hi all. Welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking with Joel. Actually, this is not really Cooking with Joel today. I was able to go to my local Costco, and then as the last minute kind of surprise, my husband and I went to the Italian market, and we hemmed and hawed over what we wanted for Easter Sunday. Originally, the original plan was I was going to smoke some baby back ribs. That was going to be Easter dinner. But that doesn't really feel like Easter to us, and I can do that any time. So then we were going to get a leg of lamb and make a, a traditional leg of lamb for Easter. Well, the problem with that is neither of us are big on... on leg of lamb leftovers, and I'm not particularly all that fond of leg of lamb. I'll eat it, but it's not my favorite thing to eat. I also am not a huge fan of ham. I'll eat, again, I'll eat ham, but it's not my go-to or my favorite thing to eat. So then my husband and I got to thinking, and I decided I wanted to make a traditional tiramisu from scratch for dessert. And the only thing that pairs well with the tiramisu is my lasagna. So I'm gonna stop this for a second. My clock is gonna play a tune. I'll be right back. Okay, hi all, welcome to my kitchen. As I was saying, I decided for Easter Sunday, I'm going to make the lasagna and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it this is going to be a little bit different because I already have the sauce canned. Yeah, I, I canned my sauce in the fall. So you're not going to actually learn how to do the sauce for the lasagna this time around. But I'm going to show you, once you do make my sauce, how I actually make my lasagna. And it's very involved. So starting Friday... I will be filming the tiramisu because the tiramisu needs to sit at least two days in the refrigerator. Saturday and Sunday, we'll start assembling the lasagna. We'll start cooking the sausage, cooking the ground beef, getting things shredded. I'm not going to do my noodles from scratch. I'm going to actually do a box noodle, and I just am not going to have the time to do the lasagna noodles from scratch. So when I actually do the lasagna in the fall, you will see it totally 100% from scratch. So there is going to be a little bit of cheating going on with the lasagna. You will not be seeing these videos film or in their entirety before Easter. These are all going to be viewed after Easter. I have a couple of videos that I need to get out with the donuts and the Hoska, and I'd like to ideally get the Hoska going this week, followed by the donuts, followed by Easter, so that you might be two weeks after Easter to do. But we're gonna we're gonna do, do a traditional Italian lasagna from pretty much from scratch. The only examples of not being from scratch will be the noodles, and then I bought the cheese. Obviously, I bought the cheeses, the meats, and stuff. So I will give you step by step directions on how to do both. The tiramisu is a little bit more tricky when you do it from scratch, and I will show you how to do it. You do need a really good Italian coffee, as well as you need cocoa powder. And I will show you what I use when I make tiramisu. So stay tuned for that.